Brandon Kendrick, age 32, was married to Kelsey, age 24. The couple married on September 11 in 2018. The couple had two children, Caleb, age 6, and Kinley, age 2. Caleb Allen Kendrick attended West Blockton Elementary School where he played baseball. He loved playing outside with his cousins and many friends. He adored Spider-Man. Kenley Grace Kendrick loved to dress up for every occasion. She always wore a bow in her beautiful curly hair. She loved to watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and dance along with Mickey. Kelsey was a stay-at-home mom who doted on her two children. Brandon and Kelsey were having difficulties in their marriage. Brandon had a troubled childhood. He was abused in every way until his grandfather and grandmother took custody when he was 12 years old. His 71-year-old grandfather is the pastor of the Oasis of Praise Church in Bessemer, Alabama. Brandon suffered from schizophrenia, and was taking medication. However Brandon recently stopped, taking his medication due to losing his medical card. His mental health was deteriorating. The family lived at the 1000 block of Green Tree Drive in West Blockton, Alabama in an apartment above his grandfather's main home. Blockton, Alabama is located approximately 27 miles southeast of Tuscaloosa, and midway between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. It's a small town located in northern Bibb County with a population of just over 2,000 citizens. On July 16, eight-year-old Colton and his sister six-year-old Haley were at their grandparents' home staying over due to their mother having surgery the next morning. Colton and Haley were cousins to Caleb and Kinsley. They played together often. Prior to arriving at their grandparents' home, all four children were at the home of Bill Morrow, Kelsey's grandfather, for a pool party to celebrate Colton's upcoming birthday. Birthday dear Colton, happy birthday to you. Did you the wish? Okay. Their mother, Jessica, recently was granted full custody of her children. Jessica, Colton and Haley's mother, was having surgery early the next morning so Kelsey was supposed to stay all night at her grandfather's home and watch all the children. However, Brandon kept calling Kelsey and telling her to come home. Eventually she gave in. Jessica drove Kelsey and all four children to their apartment and left. The children were there approximately an hour playing when Brandon and Kelsey had a serious argument. Kelsey grabbed the children and ran into their apartment. She locked the door behind her, leaving Brandon outside. At some point Brandon broke the door down. Brandon retrieved a handgun, and shot Kelsey in the head. Then systematically shot Kinley, Caleb, and Haley each in the head. Colton was able to run outside but his uncle chased after him, and was also shot in the head. Brandon then made his way to his grandfather's house and walked into their bedroom where both grandparents were standing. His grandmother was able to grab the gun as he entered the room. The gun fired, missing everyone? His grandfather quickly wrestled Brandon to the ground. Shortly after, a 911 call came in saying shots were fired on Green Tree Drive and a child was injured. When deputies arrived they found 24-year-old Kelsey Kendrick, 6-year-old Caleb, 6-year-old Haley and 2-year-old Kinley all dead from gunshot wounds to the head. The front door was busted, and outside they found 8-year-old Colton, also dead from a gunshot wound to the head. Brandon was immediately arrested and taken into custody. He was initially charged with four counts of capital murder, and one count of attempted murder. Brandon is being held without bail in the Bibb County Jail. The Reverend Alan Kendrick, Brandon's grandfather, said that about an hour prior to the shootings he held a prayer meeting for Brandon and his family. And just moments before the shooting he and his wife spoke with Brandon in their bedroom. He said Brandon was laughing and happy. He said that Brandon's wife, Kelsey, arrived home with all the kids a little bit later. She joined them and they were all laughing and talking. 
He said Kelsey got up and walked to their apartment, then 10 minutes later Brandon got up and left. Then just moments later they heard gunshots. Before they could go check on what was happening Brandon entered their bedroom with a gun. The pastor's wife grabbed the gun, it went off, but the pastor was able to wrestle Brandon to the ground and subdue him. He said Brandon was confused and asking why his grandfather was so angry. He didn't know where he was at, and was asking where Kelsey was at. The pastor blamed Brandon's problems on him being abused as a child, as well as trouble with medicines he had taken. He said, we tried everything. Had him institutionalized in hospitals, only to be discharged with no medication, no follow-up, nothing. Sheriff Jody Wade said, it's absolutely horrible. It's unimaginable what the family is going through, what the friends of the family are experiencing, what the community is feeling right now. It was just a horrific scene that even seasoned officers told me it is the worst thing they've ever seen. On July 19 the Oasis of Praise Church held a prayer vigil with more than 300 members. The proceeds from the collection plate would go to the families. On July 23, Eli Morrow, uncle to Colton and Haley posted a message on his Facebook to Colton on what would have been his ninth birthday, Happy Heavenly Birthday Dude. We will celebrate you no matter what. You deserved the world, I wish we could have watched you grow up like it was supposed to be. I love and miss you so much buddy. I'm glad I was able to see your smile and hear your laugh last week. I will hold on to that and all the other happy memories we shared. I wish I could see the party they're throwing you up there. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency's State Bureau of Investigation is handling the investigation. On Monday July 22 Brandon Kendrick appeared for his first court hearing. Brandon pleaded not guilty by reason of mental defect. The arraignment was shown on a screen inside the courtroom of the Bibb County Courthouse, and only lasted five minutes. Kendrick did not speak during the hearing. The judge found enough probable cause to continue the case. The next court date is scheduled at the end of September. Centerville Mayor Mike Oakley said, when you hear of anything like that anywhere, it's a shock. And when it happens so close to your community, it kind of brings it all home. This kind of stuff happening in urban areas and rural parts. Why would anyone want to do that to innocent children? A GoFundMe was set up for the family to cover the cost of all five funerals. It had raised nearly $30,000 by the day of the service. Visitation was held on Thursday, July 25 in 2024 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Canaan Baptist Church in Bessemer, Alabama. A funeral service was held on Thursday, July 25 in 2024 at 1 p.m. at the same location. Approximately 26% of Americans over 18 suffer from mental illness. A study from the early 1980s found that most people with mental illness are not violent. However, it did find that those with psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder or major depression who had substance abuse problems were more likely to be violent. It actually tripled the risk of some form of violence, although the risk remains low. Only 3 to 5 percent of all violence was due to mental illness alone. Notably, other risk factors include young age, being male, low socioeconomic status, alcohol or drug abuse. Beth McGinty, a mental health and substance abuse researcher at John Hopkins University, states that when someone is found to have had symptoms of mental illness it's often assumed that it caused the murders. She says it may have contributed, or it might not have had anything to do with it. She states that people with mental illnesses also may have other factors that are more strongly associated with violence, such as anger issues, substance abuse, or a history of traumatic events. Brandon Kendrick had a history of mental illness. According to his grandfather they tried to get him help to no avail. He eventually murdered his wife, two children, and niece and nephew. It's sad that innocent lives were lost. These children had the right to grow up, but will never get that chance. 
Was Brandon mentally ill? Or was he just angry? What do you think? May Kelsey, Caleb, Kinley, Colton, and Haley all rest in peace. That concludes this episode, keep your eye out for the next volume, coming soon. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.